And now for the downer ending to the weekend. Seahawks head into New Orleans and drop a nail biter. So again, I didn't make pregame this week. Didn't get around to it. Um going into this game, there were a lot of things I really didn't like. Um, there were a lot of things about this team that made me feel very uncomfortable, but I still thought we were probably going to win. I mean, New Orleans, they're a team that has a very bad defense. They're a team that has has problems on offense, really. I know their offense ranks very high in general, but they're not a juggernaut either. They have things, they, they do things that you can exploit, and I just felt like that we would ultimately find a way to take it, and okay. I'm going to talk about the team a little bit because I'm not really mad at this team. There are a couple things about this team that could have been better today, that should have been better today, that would have resulted in a win, and it's worth talking about. But I can only get so mad at this team for a game like this, so I'm just going to say the piece, and then I'm going to move on to the real problem here. Um, offensively, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, Russell Wilson, I know he's injured. I know he doesn't have all the physical attributes that he's, the uh, physical abilities that he's used to having. I thought he played bad today, even with that. Uh, the pick was bad. That That's the obvious one. He ran into pressure on multiple occasions. I mean, you can't outrun these people right now. you got to be smarter. You can't run into the pass rush. you gotta, you got to step up in the pocket. you got to let your offensive linemen, too, um, you know, handle their blocks. I know the offensive line didn't play great today, but you ran into pressure as much as the offensive line let pressure into you, honestly. So, I, I was not impressed with the game he played at all and against a very bad defense. With an offensive line that, honestly, I don't think played terrible. I mean, it was not like last week at all. Um, you got to be down on his game a little bit today. I thought there were some things out there that he really just left out. Um, play calling. That's the other thing. This is a Russell Wilson and Daryl Bevel thing. And I know the offensive line is not good right now. I know the team is having player problems on offense right now. But the play calling today, I appreciate the creativity, the uh, throwback to Tanner McAvoy. I love it. That was a great play. Nearly ended up in a touchdown, ended up generating a touchdown. You know, I like the creativity, but getting Christine Michael 10 carries in a game where he played pretty good. I thought he played good when he got the ball. I thought he was doing what he could. I don't like that. We ran the ball a total of 17 times today, and a couple of those were uh, scrambles by Wilson. I know the Saints have a weak pass defense. I know you can pick them apart a little bit. I know we didn't have that many possessions. I, I I don't understand why you don't run the ball a little more, especially when you're having decent success running the ball. Doug Baldwin, Jimmy Graham, 11 total targets in a game where you throw the ball 36 times. I'm sorry, those are your guys. Jimmy Graham, Doug Baldwin, those are the superstar talent guys. Those are the guys who are among the top 10, top, yeah, top 10 in the league at their positions. You got to feature those guys. If they're getting double covered, you find a way to get them open. And, you know, the big thing, the big thing I'm really going to take away from the offensive play calling in this game. Last play of the game, we're 10 yards out. We need a touchdown to win. Two seconds left. It's fourth down. And we throw a fade, a planned fade route to Jermaine Curse. And I don't know if Russell Wilson did that. I don't know if Daryl Bevel designed that, but that's terrible. I love Jermaine Curse, but. He's not a dynamic talent. He's just a guy who does his job. He's just a receiver who can get open and catch balls, and he's he's good. He's fine, but you've got Doug Baldwin, who is getting open at an alarming rate this season and catching everything get, that gets thrown his way. You've got Jimmy Graham, the physical six foot seven freak. Find a way to get those guys the ball. And we didn't even give them a chance. We didn't even look at them. That play was 100% going to Curse. And, of course, Wilson throws it too far. It doesn't matter anyway. I mean, Curse makes an insane catch, and it's just not good enough. But it's a, it's a terrible throw. But 
we've got dynamic talents on this offense. Even Tyler Lockett and Paul Richardson, maybe they're not as good as Jermaine Curse, but they are more dynamic talents. They can make plays. So, yeah, those are the main points of frustration I have with the team, with the players and the coaches. Uh, not going in for on it uh, for it on fourth down with seven minutes left on the three. Not my favorite. But um, just a couple frustration points on this offense. There were, I love the big plays. I love the big plays to Procise, Baldwin, Curse, Richardson. Uh, Michael had a couple of pretty good carries, but the consistency is not there. Defensively, you guys got to get off the field on third down. Did not do a very good job against the run this week. We did pretty good. We did okay, but that was this was an opportunity for us to control a game via stopping the run, and Tim Hightower played an effective game. We forced the early fumble on Mark Engram. He got benched the whole rest of the game, and Hightower played a pretty effective game. Drew Brees, not great, but he was effective. Um, we did not get a lot of pressure on Brees. We got a couple sacks kind of early, and oh, one sack early, one sack late. Not a lot of pressure. I know Michael Bennett's not out there, and that's a huge thing, so i got to give the pass rush a little bit of slack. And Bennett, you know, don't even get me started on that. That's 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 brutal. Can't, I mean, it, this was the wrong time for us to not be having Michael Bennett out there. That that, that hurts. Um, secondary, they got beat a little bit. Not terrible. 265 yards against Drew Brees with 35 attempts. That's... I mean, it's not good, but you can, it's not bad either. So, yeah, the team did not play great. Let's let's not get it twisted. The coaching staff did not perform very well, I don't think. But I cannot talk about this game without talking about, if you watch this game, I'm sure you know, this was basically the prison game in the longest yard. This was the prison guards versus the prisoners. We had 11 penalties called on us. They had one. They had one false start on one of their drives. We had 11 penalties. Uh, Willie Sneed was running into defensive backs on every short pass. I swear to God, never got him on offensive pass interference once. Jermaine Curse can't breathe on people without getting offensive P.I. called on him. Um, what else? Um, you know, just, just complete... You know, I almost can't even say this was a terribly officiated game. This felt like, this felt like, I'm not even kidding. This felt like the longest yard game with the way this game was being called. Some of the spots were terrible. Many of the flags were just complete garbage. Uh, the Saints got away with everything. I mean, I'm sorry. We we lost to the referees today. I, I haven't said that in a long time. It's been a few years since I've really said that. I, I've let a lot of things go because I know this team plays physically in the secondary. But this, this was beyond anything I've seen in a long time. I was watching this game with my dad. I was watching this game with my parents. I was getting heated about some of these calls and no calls. It, it, you cannot tell me that somebody upstairs did not want the Saints to win. You cannot convince me that somebody up there didn't say, make sure the Saints stay in this game, do whatever you have to do. I refuse to believe it's impossible for the referees to be as dumb as they were acting today. And they were dumb today. Just ridiculous. Willie Sneed running into defensive backs every play. Phantom holdings on the offensive line. Phantom blocks in the back on frickin', um, I can't even remember who it is now. Paul McQuiston or whatever. Just, I mean, the, the Saints are garbage. The Saints are a garbage team, garbage franchise. The fact that we almost won this game proves how garbage they are. They had the game basically rigged for them, and they still pretty much, you know, it came down to the last play. Any half-decent team would have won that game by 20 points with that much shit going their way. So, Ed Hockey Lee, you suck. I, I used to like you, but after today, you're dead to me. If you come home tonight and your dog's dead, I'm going to applaud. I can't. I I'm sorry. That That's just horse shit. This is why I can't bring myself to really do anything more than mention in passing the Julio Jones defensive pass interference thing. Because I know this shit's going to happen. If you look it up, the last three years, no team has had a bigger penalty deficiency than the Seahawks. Every year. It happens every year. I think we've had maybe three defensive pass interference penalties called 
on opposing defenses over the past two years or some ridiculous bullshit like that. So yeah, that's my rant. I mean, that pissed me off. I mean, today was not even just the calls were bad. This was Roger Goodell was pushing the Buffalo Wild Wings button in his goddamn office. And Roger Goodell, this is why your league is down in ratings by 12 or 13 or whatever the hell it is percent. This is why people are not watching your goddamn games. There are a million reasons. This is one of them. I mean, I was just watching the Tampa Bay-Oakland game, the end. Oakland had 23 fucking penalties called against them in this game. 23. How can you even watch that game and have a decent time? How can you watch a game where one team gets 23 penalties called against them and enjoy yourself? This is why people are not watching your games as much. I don't know what you need to do. Um, I, I mean, it's almost like you got to change the rules so there aren't as many penalties. I've heard many theories, but... This product is becoming difficult to watch. I can't say I had very much fun watching the game today. It just felt like the league was against you. And I can't imagine anybody having fun watching the Oakland-Tampa Bay game. There were over probably 30 penalties total in that game. How can you have fun? Every other play results in a flag. How can that be good football? How can that entertain anyone? Okay. Um, I should stop being upset about that. I know it, it's how it goes. I know the team could have played better, but today went above and beyond even like like the Jets game earlier this year. The Jets got a bunch of calls in that game that pissed me off, but I didn't even mention that in the post-game video because it's, it's just what happens in the NFL. Today was beyond that. Today was it's something else, and uh, it, it sucks because... We had some guys on this team play really well and not coming away with the victory. It hurts. But on next week, we got Buffalo. I think it's a Monday night game. We need this win because the next two games are going to be really tough. And without missing some of the players that we're missing, I mean, the injuries on this team are piling up. And it's becoming like an insurmountable problem. I don't know. All right. Well, I'll make a pregame video this week at some point, but... I I don't know. It, it's tough right now. This is not the way this we wanted the season to go. Everybody's getting hurt. Um, players, um, the you know, the play calling seems to have regressed. The offense has regressed. Defense is not getting a chance to, um, you know, have their very good play for the most part come over the top and actually show in victories. So, see you guys later.